Well, if maybe you thought things were getting better at the Veterans Administration, this next story will make you think twice. We told you last June about a Williamsburg Army vet who sent the VA medical information requesting vocational training because of his disability. Well, then, in a data breach, the VA mistakenly sent him confidential data belonging to 12 other veterans. Sit on your side's investigative reporter Chris Horn has this update, which involves Chris, the agency, losing even more information. Yeah, hard to believe, Laura. Fortunately for those 12 veterans last year, James Graves was an honest man. He sent their documents with personal and financial information directly to them. But just last week, he found out that the VA had once again lost information, and this time, it was his. When James Graves of Williamsburg opened a thick manila envelope last June, he thought it related to his request for vocational training from the VA. Instead, he had in his hands the financial information and personal data of 12 other veterans. This is crazy. This shouldn't have happened. Graves then forwarded the info to the rightful owners. Chauncey Maver was one of those 12 victims. Thankfully, yeah. it ended up with somebody that was honest. But this time, Graves is more than just the middleman for lost information, more than just an honest broker. He's discovered that the records he sent the VA back in February last year were, well, lost. Graves is currently a teacher with hip, ankle, and knee problems. You can't really be an effective teacher when you have pain and stiffness and weakness. So he went to a local VA office and gave them these records in person so the VA could evaluate his retraining request. He even has proof. When he dropped them off, he had them stamp this extra copy as received. But then the 90-day response period expired. They told me that, well, your records are being scanned. That's why it's late, delayed. So I kept calling back once every month. Pretty soon, instead of 90 days, it's a year later. They said that you never did an appeal. In other words, they never, they can't find your stuff. They cannot find my stuff. Graves has now twice witnessed how the VA handles sensitive information and says change is needed in both policy and personnel. All you're doing is hurting the veteran. You're hurting the veteran's family, whatever the veteran has to go through. We've contacted the VA headquarters on behalf of Graves to see how they lost his records and when they can resolve his case. He's hoping his past 12 months of chasing lost information won't end up being lost time. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.